Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this episode we are going to talk about using PATG filament in the DaVinci Pro Printer. So stay tuned! So glad you stayed. Um, I have got a lot of filament for my wife and uh, it's all PATG and I think this is great filament it's it's really magnificent filament and I'll show you why but I also show you the problems I have with it but first let's take a look at the box if you take a look at the box here then you see that the temperatures for the melting temperature and the heated bed are given for PATG as 190 degrees to uh, 245 degrees Celsius and the heated bed between 20 and 35 degrees Celsius this is how this filament came to me and I got a lot of boxes believe me because my wife she gave me a lot of spools so I tried printing with this filament and at first I wasn't that successful uh, uh, the first time I loaded this filament to my printer I tried it at a low temperature. I went to uh, only 190 degrees Celsius because it said so in the box. And uh, when I tried to uh, extrude the filament from the extruder, actually there was some, some filament coming out. But then when I tried to print with it, nothing happened. Uh, it all got jammed up in the extruder and I had to clean the nozzle. So then I did an old trick and I explained it in an earlier video but I will explain it again because it's a very very nice trick. I have heated up my printer like as if I was going to put a new filament inside. So I told the printer in the menu uh, to uh, load a new filament and I just took a string of filament and I took off the PTFE tube from the carriage on the top of my printer. Then when the extruder was heating up all the way to 240 degrees Celsius, because that was my set point I gave in, into the menu, um, I tried to put in the filament. And when I tried so, then uh, at a certain moment the filament was pushing in very nicely. Uh, it started to flow in a nice and, and, and yeah, steady uh, flow rate. And then I take a look at my printer's uh, display and the display said I was at 230 degrees Celsius. So actually the filament's nice melting point was at 230 degrees Celsius. And I set the printer for that temperature and I really loaded the filament in. Then I wanted to make a first print to see how strong PATG was. And I started printing something that could be printed in the spiral phase mode. The spiral phase mode, for some of you that may not know what it is, um, the spiral phase mode is a mode in which the printer uh, is printing in a continuous loop. So it won't stop to make a new layer. All the layers are laid down by just lowering the bed in a continuous uh, motion. And the printer is going in a continuous motion as well. So uh, there isn't a stop point, there isn't a start point, it's all just one motion. It starts at the bottom, it stops at the end. And then I printed this airplane. Uh, I found it on Thingiverse, link will be in the description down below. And, well, this came out great. It really turned out magnificent. It's a little bit translucent, so I can, yeah, I can see right through it. Um, it's very, very nice and it's very very strong uh, I didn't believe it when I saw it for the first time but it really it is as stiff as can be you, you can't break it it's so extremely strong uh, I tried a lot of things with it well you can't print this strong with PLA you can't print this strong with ABS it's really extremely strong and a bit flexible as well so uh, it, it flexes and well it, it, it just won't break it's very very nice material then after that I took another color and printed a rocket uh, it's completely completely filled and uh, it, 
turned out great, but I had to print two of those. Because the first one at 230 degrees Celsius didn't, didn't come out that good. I had to go a little bit higher in my temperature settings. I had to go to 245 degrees Celsius to get a good print. Uh, all those prints, by the way, were made without cooling fans. Because uh, if you turn on your cooling fans, it won't work. You, you really have to turn off your cooling fans if you have them on your DaVinci printer. Um, I have cooling fans, as you know, on my printer. And if you turn them on, it won't work. Then I found this great tool. This tool, uh, it was also on Thingiverse, and the link will be in the description down below as well. Um, this tool is there to help you uh, get the, uh, the, the push fitting for the PTFE tube out the back of your printer. So if you have a DaVinci Pro printer and uh, you want to change the push fitting that's in the back of your printer where the PTFE tube comes out to guide the filament, uh, then you have to, to disassemble your complete printer to get just by one nut. And uh, it's really, it's, it's ridiculous how they made it. But with this very simple tool, you can just, just push it in and you can screw it tight or loosen uh, just without opening the whole printer. So it's a great tool, but it has to be very strong. So I wanted to print this with PTFE. And I did so, and at first, well, I didn't succeed, because uh, the, the filled part, which is completely filled uh, from the inside, it came out beautifully. It's, it's really, a, well, let's see how the layers turned out. It's really, really nice. So I think this was a very, very nice print. But then I had to come to the hollow part, because here it's hollow. And this is where everything went wrong. Um, it was too hot, it melted in, in a very strange way. But if I tried a lower temperature, then this part wouldn't come out very nice. So this is where I said, well, I have to make some changes mid-print. And this is where it all uh, gets a little bit funky, because when you're using uh, XYZware for Pro, and I know a lot of you don't want to pay for uh, software like Simplify 3D, for example. Um, well, in, in XYZware for Pro, you can't change your settings mid-print. Um, when you want to, to uh, have a print that has a high temperature for the first part and then lowers in temperature for the second part, you just can't do so. So uh, what I did, I went to Simplify 3D. I always print in Simplify 3D. And uh, I, I measured how high this is and at which layer I would be when I was at this height where it started to be hollow. And I went from 245 degrees Celsius to 235 degrees Celsius. So I lowered 10 degrees in temperature. And when I did so, it came out magnificent and it's, it's really strong as can be. So this is a real great tool that I have. And uh, I just printed it uh, in one go with the DaVinci Pro, but with uh, Simplify 3D as a slicer, because you can't do so in XYZ Wear for Pro. Then I wanted to print all these parts. And you don't know for, for now, but uh, I'm going to build another printer. And uh, it's going to be a Core XY printer, because uh, I really think that Core XY is, is really a very nice way of handling your prints. Um, so I'm, I'm going to build a printer like that, but I'm going to build it from scratch. So all the parts will be ordered uh, solely. And I have printed all the plastic parts that I need to build this printer and it will be a build that will be done in in the next year uh, so in January I think I will start with the print or, or with the build but I had to print all this this part that were needed for this printer and I wanted to make them from uh, PATG of course because that's really strong and stiff and sturdy but because of the same problem I had here 
and that's that I have to change temperatures mid print I wasn't able to lay out a, a whole lot of different uh, uh, things on my print bed I wanted to to have a print bed yeah, which is filled with with maybe 10 or, or 12 uh, things that had to be printed but I had to change settings mid print and well this gave me a real headache and I couldn't do it that way so I had to print the parts uh, or just one on one or maybe two on a build plate and this really took a very very long time and that's what made me decide to also convert this printer the XYZ uh, Pro, the, the Da Vinci Pro machine and it's the last printer I have which has the stock nozzle inside and I'm going to, to leave the stock nozzle as it is uh, but I'm also going to yeah, I'm going to make uh, an E3D V6 nozzle for this printer so I'm going to do the conversion for this printer as well uh, because I really think uh, PETG will benefit from it uh, and a lot of other materials will also benefit from it so also this printer will leave its, its, uh, its stock nozzle and it will be converted to the E3D V6 but I am keeping the, the original extruder so from time to time you will see me switch from E3D V6 to uh, the stock nozzle and this is about it for this video uh, I really had fun printing with PETG. I think it's a great material. It's very challenging because it's it's pretty difficult to print PETG uh, with a Bowden extruder. Um, but that said, I think I managed to make great prints, uh, and I will use PETG now as a preferred filament above ABS because it's it's way stronger. Uh, it doesn't have the warping problem, so. I will really I will start using this filament instead of ABS um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are playing with PATG yourself please uh, leave some comments uh, what were your findings what 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 did you notice when you were playing with PATG tell it me in the comments down below and I will react on that uh, because I would like to know what you found out for this material if you're not subscribed, please use the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm reaching to the thousand subscribers, and I really, I, I love it if I would go over the thousand subscribers. So if you can help me with that, well, please do so. And also, um, this channel is all made by myself. Uh, I'm not funded. I am not uh, sponsored by. The, the giant uh, corporations or whatever I do it all by myself so if you like to donate please do so uh, make a small donation and you can find the link in the description down below and it will really help the channel very very much uh, this week I received a few donations as well uh, they're all small donations one euro two two dollars uh, five euros uh, then it was someone sending me even ten dollars all you guys well thanks a lot you really help out the channel and I love to make this kind of videos I love to have all those rolls of filament and try things out for you so if you can help me please do so also this next Sunday there will be a live stream on this channel uh, I will be live streaming I've done some tests with live streaming as well and uh, this Sunday there will be a live stream and it will also be on what I did with my printer to make it better so the, the live stream will be all about making the DaVinci Pro machine a little bit better for its users so I hope to see you next Sunday and uh, otherwise next uh, Thursday there will be another video out uh, where I do nice things with the printer thanks for watching bye bye